Hey guys, it's Miss Lola Chocolate, and today I'll just be showing you how I groom Lola. So I use these two things just to comb her out, and this is just the four paws sleeve comb, um, and it just has like these little bristles, which I really like because it just gets all the like loose hairs and flea and stuff out. Lola is on a flea medication, but um, the the flea medication she takes is comforted, so if a flea bites her, then it basically dies. So, she takes the comforted orally, so it's not like the ones that you have to go here, and then you have to worry about if you touch your dog, and then you have to wash your hands, or if the other dog, like, licks your dog or something. And it is a poison that you are putting on your dog, so. The comforted, what it does is you give it to your dog, your dog orally takes it, and it goes into your dog system, so if your the flea bites your dog, it dies off, and this is why oops, I use this because the fleas will be dead. So if there's some like hanging there, then I just use this to like comb it out, just get the dead fleas off and loose hair and loosen up the hair. And then, so this is just a four paws flea comb. And then I go over it with this is just a four paws setting blade. And it's actually for cats and kittens, but I use this for Lola because the one they had for her, which was like, it was really big, so I just bought this one instead. Um, so then I just go over her with this comb, like this. And I usually comb her for about 5 to 10 minutes because I just want to get all the loose hair and like the dead hair and stuff out. To make sure that she doesn't have any of the dead fleas on her to and it helps using these two I have noticed it like really does reduce the amount of hair that like, gets on your clothes and your couch and stuff so that's what I really like about these two and then I give Lola a bath um depending on how dirty she gets once a week if not twice a week if she gets like super dirty if she goes like to the beach or gets muddy or something then I just use regular oatmeal, like um, oatmeal shampoo for dogs, of course. And then to trim her nails, this is probably my favorite product to trim your dog's nails, it is just the Penny Pods. So this is a little, so it has a little hole here, and you put your dog's nail in here, and it trims your dog's nails. So the material that they use to trim, like for the trimming part is just like the regular material that you use to trim file your own nails so if you have ever used a nail filer you know what I'm talking about because it's just the same material and I really like it this one better than the ones like the actual nail clippers so I feel like with this one you it's just safer because if you use this one it, you can do it little by little if you do the other one you chop your nails you chop and dog nails, and it is not good because then if you chop it too quick and you get near the quick and then your dog's nail is bleeding and then you have to go to the vet and it's just easier to use this one. So I just bought this one at um, I believe PetSmart for around $20. And I really like it so it is really quiet too so if you can hear that kind of just sounds like a toothbrush, like an automatic battery powered toothbrush. So yeah, you just put your dog's nail in the hole, turn it on, and I usually let her nail go there for about 5-6 seconds because she has kind of short nails. And as you can see, Lola has black nails. So that shows you something that I really do trust using the petty paws on my dog's nails. She does have black nails. And I have gone to the um, groomer before and the vet and they have trimmed her nail too close to the quick and she was bleeding so I just feel way safer doing it myself and it's cheaper too because you, you invest on this like $20 you invest on it. And you can trim your dog's nails for like ever. And it is battery powered. Um, I don't know what type of battery it is.
This just this type of battery, so it's like a pretty big battery. And then you just put it in there, and it powers this up to turn your dog, you know. And again, it is not even that loud, so it just sounds like a toothbrush. And that's what I use to trim her nails. And then for her ears, ear health is like also really important. I clean her ears with just cotton balls and then I clean her ear up. I just clean it up maybe every time I give her a bath actually. So once a week, once or twice a week I give her a bath. And then I just clean her ears up. I think it's really important to clean your dog's ears because if you don't clean your dog's ears and there's a lot of um dirt in there and earwax and all that gross stuff and it builds up and that can lead to a ear infection and my godmother's dog had an ear infection and his ear was like all crusty and stuff and she had to pay hundred dollars just for the ear medication and then she also had to pay for the um the vet visit which was like another hundred dollars or like fifty dollars so that's like two hundred to 200 plus actually just for the ear medication and visit for your dog's like ear infection so it's just easier to help prevent ear infection by just cleaning your dog's ears even if it's maybe every other week or once a week and it's just really good to help prevent any ear infections and then lastly her teeth so Lola's teeth are pretty white, I don't know if you can see that, so she has like really white teeth, and a lot of dogs won't let you do that to their teeth, like, uh, she's not gonna let me, but, um, a lot of dogs won't let you see and like clean their teeth, but I have started cleaning Lola's teeth ever since I got her, so you have to start like super soon with cleaning your dog's teeth getting the them um, used to like you touching them and like touching their ears and their mouth and their nose and because keeping care of your dog can be difficult at times so you can see like she has really clean teeth like all white and then she has her gums which are a little bit black but that is because her coloration around her mouth area and her black spots which causes her gums to be black and pink which is perfectly normal for dogs of like her coloration but if it's a dog who's entirely white and they have black and like purple on their gums then that is not good because that means that your dog has a um a kind of like gingivitis except dog form and that is not good because then you'll have to go again remember pay the vet to clean your dog, give them medication, and all that stuff. So I just, what I do is I, no, no. So I brush her teeth with just, I just got a children's toothbrush from the um, dollar store, and then I get the um, dog toothpaste, which is just lit liver flavored, and I brush her teeth with that, and she actually really likes it. And then the little toothbrush and the, um, what's it called, the toothpaste came with a little finger one, so you just put it on your finger and brush your dog's teeth. And I really like that, the finger one, so I just first brush her teeth with the one that I bought, like, around her teeth and everything, and I go in the finger one and then go all the way back into her, like, molars and stuff. So that's how I brush her teeth. And then, so yeah, I just do her nails, brush her teeth, comb her. Um, I think that's pretty much it. So yeah, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, if you are a new viewer, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe if you are a um, just a regular viewer. Like if you already have subscribed. Um, thanks for watching. So, yeah, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. I really do appreciate it. And subscribe to my channel. Yes. I will try to make videos on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And then if I have time, either on Saturday or Sunday. But I promise videos on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So this video is on Tuesday. 
Yeah, I think it's, yeah, it's Tuesday today. So, this video is for Monday, and I'll be making another one tomorrow, and then on Friday. And if I have time, either on Saturday or Sunday, so keep your eyes peeled for that. So again, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.